everyone, it's Candice with Candy Bees Creations. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for this video today. I'm gonna to be doing a little Thanksgiving garland. Just a little different twist on a garland. I'm actually gonna be doing some paper quilling. This is actually just paper cardstock that I, I don't know if you're familiar with paper quilling, but you basically just take strips of paper, cut out an outline of what you want. I just cut out the outline of this uh, thankful word. And then I just put the paper upright these little strips of paper, you put them upright, glue them. It's a little tedious. If you just be patient and work with it, it's actually so much fun and satisfying in the end. Along with using some toilet paper rolls, I actually use toilet paper rolls a lot in my crafting. You would never guess it's a toilet paper roll. I actually just glued it together in the shape of a turkey. I don't know if you can tell that looks like a turkey, but this is a turkey. And I just spray painted it with some um, copper spray paint and I'm just gonna attach it with some twine or something. Oh, hi kitty. This is my cat Tink. I'm just gonna attach it, one on each side, to make a cute little garland. And I just think it's gonna be so cute. We'll make it together and I'll show you exactly what I do step by step. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's gonna be such a fun time. Craft day is always a good day and I love doing Thanksgiving crafts because sometimes we skip Thanksgiving time. We go right from Halloween to Christmas and I don't want to forget Thanksgiving because it's an important holiday that we can reflect on being grateful and showing gratitude for all the things that we have. So let's do some Thanksgiving crafts and not forget this special season and let's get into this video. All right, let's get started, shall we? All right, here's a closer look at what I've done so far. Um, I save all my toilet paper and paper towel rolls just in case there might be a craft I can do with them. I know there's always something that I can do with these. The possibilities are actually endless if you just kind of think outside the box. Um, I just cut these into about one inch strips like this. Uh, get about four from each toilet paper roll. So two, three, four, five, six. So it only takes like I guess three, three toilet paper rolls and, um, or you could probably do two turkeys with one paper towel roll. But anyway, you only need about an inch. You just need a Sharpie marker. I took some scraps of paper that kind of remind me of fall. I'm gonna be writing my thankful word on this and then just backing it with whatever I think looks good with some of these papers that I took from my scrap pile. And then I'm gonna do some paper quilling. Basically, you just take your glue. This is a fine like needle nose applicator, glue applicator. And you just glue it along the edges, cut strips that are about just over a centimeter, maybe about a half inch, I guess, um, wide. And then you just glue it along the edges, shaping your paper as you go along, making creases and bends. And it's actually really easy. It just is a little bit tedious, a little bit time consuming. But if you enjoy crafting, then this will be perfect for you. I just try to keep a little pin in there to keep it from drying out or getting clogged. Okay, so first things first, I think I'm gonna write my thankful word first and then find papers to back this up. And then I just cut around the edges. It looks like I've got three different pieces of paper that I've backed it up with. I'm obviously gonna be doing different papers. Here's a little bit from this paper, but I don't have enough to do this large of a project anymore. But let's just start with our thankful word. Now I just hand wrote mine. You don't have to do that. You can just print it out with your favorite font on your computer and that works great too, but I'm just gonna handwrite it. So, and we'll see if I can't get it looking good this first time, we'll do another shot, but we'll just start. Let me make sure I'm in camera. Looks good, okay. Now the pressure's on, okay. All right, that's all right. 
Okay, now I'm just gonna sort of fill in the little spaces that I create. I'm just gonna play around making it look cute. I'm satisfied. So from here, I'm actually gonna just outline just like I've done here with my Sharpie. Just do an outline kind of like where a sticker would be cut out if you have a sticker of this. So I'm just gonna outline wherever I feel like looks good. Looks good. So from here, I'm just going to cut that out. Let's see. Also, it looks like I'm cutting it out using about an eighth of an inch, maybe a tiny bit more from the edge of my outline. All done there. So basically we're just going to repeat this step two more times, well three more times actually, because I'm going to back it with three more colors, making the um, the largest one about oh, a centimeter thick. So, but we just sort of play it by ear as we go along. So I'm just going to look around for some papers that I think will look good. And you can make this your own Obviously, these are scraps that I've had forever, so you won't have the same scraps but or the same papers. Just do what makes you happy. Do what reminds you of fall or just whatever is pleasing to your eye. And that's just kind of what I'll be doing here. Okay, so I think I'm going to use this one next. It looks like there's enough space. I'm just going to outline the edges with glue. Um, by the way, the glue that I'm using is, it's this Aileen's Tacky Glue, and I watered it down just a little bit. I probably have three parts glue and one part water, just to make it a thin enough consistency to squeeze through that nozzle, because that is a tiny needlepoint nozzle. So, I'm just going to... Outline the edges of this and glue it down. Okay, there's the end of that. Now I'm gonna find a couple more colors that I like. I need to find the one that I want as my largest backing first. All right. I think I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna glue this down. Two more times, here we go. Okay. Now this is our final one. I wanna make sure it only took me about two and a half strips of paper. So I need to make sure I have plenty of space, plenty of paper to work with. Let's see. I better cut my strips first to make sure I have enough. I did, like I said, about a centimeter. Let me see. So that would be right there. 
actually, I think I did a little bit less. A centimeter and a half, maybe. Okay. I'm just going to go to about right here. That looks good. Scoot it over to the same place. Make sure it's the same width. do one more. I think I could do take some from here. I'll do one more from here. Okay, that should give me enough strips and space. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and glue that down. You know, I might just do one more strip for good measure because you never know if something messes up and you need to redo. Okay, our final glue down. All right, now I just wanna make sure I have enough space to have a good kind of wider border for the outer edge. So that should give me plenty of space. Looks like this one, I was a little bit more detailed with how I cut. I was a little bit more detailed with getting like the little nooks whenever it dented in. This one I was a little bit more lax, but it's okay. Same effect, it's hardly noticeable, it's fine. You might have also noticed that my nails are still uh, Halloween. That's because actually today is Halloween. I'm filming today on Tuesday and we'll be posting on Thursday. So that's why my nails are Halloween. I love Halloween, okay. So let's cut this out, leaving a good base probably a half inch or whatever you want. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to sort of season my strips of paper. Maybe this isn't what you'd call seasoning them, but I just want to make them sort of limber that they'll do whatever I want them to do when I'm ready for it to like turn or curve or bend. Obviously when we want a more deep bend we want the paper to be able to curl more. So I just manipulate the paper how I want. So what we do, you just find a starting place you kind of figure where you're going to start. I'm going to start here and I'm going to go clockwise. And I'm just going to go around, glue down, and right about here is where I'm going to make a bend. So I'm going to make a bend here. And it's going to be a little bit more of a curved bend. So we're going to do that. And then right here is where there's going to be an exact 90 degree bend. Oh, I went too far, so I'm going to bring it back in. All right. So I'm going to start there. That's a good start. Now I'm going to start from here because now I have my exact bends. And I am going to place the glue exactly on the edge. Okay. 
Here we go. Now I'm just gonna place my corner down first. This tacky glue dries fairly quick, so I'm just gonna hold it for a second. And while I'm holding down and pressing, I can move my strip of paper around. Press down and continue working the paper around. Pressing down right where I want it to stick, making sure my the edge of my paper gets glue on it. get some glue on the edge of that paper and then just lay it down right at the edge. And I don't have glue right here yet so I'm just gonna push that back. Glue the rest of that edge and hold it down. Okay, basically that's all you really need to know. Now I'm just gonna continue working all the way around, bending and curling the paper until I get all the way around. Okay, right there where we have two pieces of paper, two strips meeting, I'm just gonna glue up the edge, press down so that it overlaps and it can support it. They can both support each other here. And then just start where I left off. We done. That is fun and cute. No one will know better that it's just a piece of paper. It kind of looks like wood that's covered with paper, but no one will ever know. Anyway, just really cute, a little 3D paper sign. So now I'm going to punch holes and I'm just going to punch at these upper right hand corners. It's not very deep, so let me see if I can just oh. so I didn't measure very good. It looks like if I punch a hole, it's just gonna make a hole all the way to the edge. So I'm just gonna improvise here. I'm gonna take this weeding tool and just kind of punch a hole right in the center. About right here of my own. Okay. And then I'll just work on that to make it larger so that twine can fit through. We'll work on that a little bit. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. See, this one's here, so I want this one maybe about here. All right, so there's that. I'm gonna put my twine through a little later and now I'm gonna show you how I've done these little turkeys. So let me put this back on. Set my glue aside. All right, I'm gonna take, let's just take a paper towel roll so we can get more out of that. All I'm gonna do here is simply smash it flat. And I think I'm gonna take my ruler 
and I'm just going to make lines. Yeah, I think I'm going to go every inch. With this one, I just eyeballed it, but then they're not exact. You can kind of see if you look at it this way, they're not all even. But when I glued it down, I glued it down upside down so that the, at least the front part will be even. So you'll just have to decide what you want to do if you're the type that doesn't like to spend time measuring. I'm kind of that way, a little impatient. But for this, I'm just going to do, I'm going to measure every inch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Good there. I'm going to take these heavy duty scissors. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to situate these so it looks like a turkey. Basically, I have one on top of another like this. And then I just want to fan it out. I don't really want to fan it out this way. Although I guess I could. You can do whatever you want. But I want to kind of bring mine up more like this. So here we go. With the glue. I'm just going to hot glue this edge with this edge. Making them straight up and down from one another. Okay. Next, I want to glue these pieces. So I want to have my contact points right here on this edge. And then just sort of see where it's going to meet up with this one. So it looks like... And you can kind of bend these around. I might want to bring that out just a little bit. Maybe bring these out just a little bit. Just sort of manipulate the shape you want. Kind of measure them up. That looks pretty good. So my contact point will be here and about here, almost halfway up. Okay, so right here is where it's going to meet. And then right there on the edge. Pressing down in both places. Same thing here. We'll go right there. And then, let's see. Again, about almost halfway up. Okay, and then the last two, about right there. So point of contact will be at the center here and then right here again. So we'll go right here in the middle, right here on the end. And then just press them together. So the glue sets at room temperature. Go halfway up. Okay, looks pretty good. Press, press. Okay. This is where I take my spray paint. I'm just using this Rust-Oleum from my Home Depot. You can probably get this at craft stores or your local hardware store. And um, I'm just using metallic finish in copper, I think. Where did it say copper? 
bright coat copper right there. Anyway, of course, whatever color you want. But I liked the idea of copper. I felt like it was pretty fallish. So I'm going to take this outside, spray paint it, let it dry, and then I'm going to punch holes in these somewhere. I'm not sure yet. And then string them on so that it looks like something like this. only imagine it's going to go like this it's going to drape like that and I think it's going to be so cute I'm excited okay I'm going to take this out and spray paint all right so I'm actually waiting for my little turkey guy to dry I just spray painted him but I've just decided I don't really like the look of this bright yellow it feels a little too springy for me for some reason um kind of like the look of this burnt orange color instead. So I'm just gonna take a marker, take my chances, see how it looks if I just color this. All right, I might've gotten a little sloppy or a little careless in some spots because it got off onto this blue paper, but Oh well, it is what it is. But I'm going to take some of this anyways, and I'm going to kind of make a little bit more of a rustic look. This is just a black ink pad. Probably like a walnut color would be nice too, just to kind of go along the edges. Kind of emphasize the outline. I kind of like the look of that. much better. I feel like that's more fallish. Okay. All right, here it is. The final look, the final product. I love the look of sort of a metallic copper here. So cute and fun. I think it turned out really cute. I could actually tie bows if I wanted to and glue it right there, but I like the simplicity of it actually. I think it's so cute. All right, I hope you enjoyed this guys. Thanks so much again.